Welcome to the AFR Saints channel, where we provide you daily content on your favorite team, the New Orleans Saints. Do us a favor and hit that subscribe button. Be sure to leave your comments below and smash that like button. Who that? This is a huge game for us. I mean, like I said, anytime you play the Saints, it's a big deal, and this one's got a lot of the line for both teams. Falcons head coach Arthur Smith, Saints and Falcons from the Dome on Sunday. Uh, the Thursday injury report is out. I'm actually going to start with the Falcons because um, maybe the biggest name on either side is uh, Falcons quarterback Taylor Heineke, uh, who was limited with the ankle injury again on Thursday. So limited Wednesday, limited Thursday. So we're kind of keeping an eye on what they're going to do. Remember, they benched Desmond Ritter. Well, they started Ritter, benched him for Heineke, went back to Ritter, then benched Ritter again. Now it's Heineke, but Heineke got hurt against the Bears on Sunday. Uh, Arthur Smith did give an update on Taylor Heineke. I'm optimistic, but again, uh, that's why you have contingency plans and you know the way we'll prepare, similar how Taylor prepared last week. And I know this, Des will always be ready to go, and, and so will Logan. I mean, they've been that way all year, and that's helped. You know, it's, it's been you know an up and down year. It's certainly, been changed in that room, but. The, the, the relationship between the three of those guys to me is unique and rare, and it got a lot of faith in all those guys. So um, the rest of the injury report, I'll run through it really quickly. Of course, uh, if Heineke can't go, it'll it'll be Desmond Ritter, who the Saints saw earlier this year, and the Saints had that brutal day where they were 0 for 5 in the red zone, and despite putting up over 400 yards, lost uh, to the Atlanta Falcons. Um, Calais Campbell had a rest day on Wednesday, but practiced on Thursday, no designation. Drew Dahlman, DeMarco Hellams, Mike, uh, were uh, both DNPs. Mike Hughes went from, uh, with he's in the con uh, cornerback, he's in the concussion protocol, limited. Cordero Patterson, rest day on Wednesday, practiced on Thursday. Everybody else was limited. Troy Anderson, Zach Harrison, Taylor Heineke. Again, the, the notable one again, Drew Dahlman, their center, back-to-back -back days, has not started. Remember the old Mike D line? It's old buddy D uh, betting angle. Uh, the uh, teams that lose their starting center fail to cover some 80% of the time the week they lose their starting center. So if Drew Dahlman can't go, according to that that uh, that angle, huge benefit for the New Orleans Saints. We'll keep an eye on Dahlman when the final injury report comes out on Friday. As for the Saints, um, not not great. I mean, they're a banged up they're a banged up football team. Um, Juwan Johnson was limited. So that was an upgrade. But Lonnie Johnson, Alvin Kamara, Nafai Sewell, Landon Young, all DNPs. Nafai Sewell, we know, is out with the torn ACL. Uh, Colin Saunders in the concussion protocol. He practiced on Thursday but was limited. Uh, Kendra Miller limited with the ankle. A.T. Perry was a new addition uh, with an illness. Then Eric McCoy, Chris Olave, Peyton Turner, all limited. Turner's still, of course, on IR. He's returned to practice, but they've yet to, uh, to activate him. So we'll keep an eye on, on all that, see how guys trend on on Friday as they move closer to the game on uh, on Sunday for the Saints. Also of note is um, the Saints made a roster move. We saw a couple of corresponding moves from Wednesday to Thursday, and one of the sort of unfortunate things was uh, John Trey Kirkland, former LSU Tiger, was on the Saints practice squad, uh, was released. But we know the corresponding move is the Saints have signed former Falcons offensive lineman uh, Colby Gossett to the practice squad. So f follow me here with with this, with Gossett and how this goes. If you remember, so Ryan Ramchick has been shut down for the year. So with Ramchick out for the rest of the season, Landon Young had been starting at right tackle. Well, Landon Young um, this past weekend ends up going down in the game and Cameron Irving goes in at right tackle. Well, on the injury report, Landon Young is still out with that knee injury. So... If Landon, certainly the fact that they've signed Colby Gossett is an indicator that Landon Young likely isn't going to be able to go, or this is at least a contingency if he's not able to go. I know the way sometimes we think with decisions like this, it's, well, you go you go and sign a former Falcons offensive lineman the week you play the Falcons because he's going to tell you all their secrets. I, I don't know that I necessarily think that's the case. Uh, Gossett's backstory, he was a six-rounder out of Appalachian State back in 2018 by the Vikings. He's played with five different teams. The Saints are now his sixth. But the bulk of his experience did come with the Atlanta Falcons, um, mostly during the 21 and 22 seasons. So um, he, he played this year in the preseason with the Browns, but the last two years he had been with Atlanta. 
the reason this makes sense is not necessarily that Colby Gossett's going to come in and be a starter for you or tell you everything you need to know about Arthur Smith and the Atlanta Falcons, but because of his experience, not only with the Falcons, but in this division and against the Saints, there's a degree of familiarity. So on Sunday, my assumption is if Landon Young isn't able to go, you're going to start Cameron Irving, who replaced Landon Young this past week. and played pretty well. Yeah, and we talked about Irving when they made that, that signing. He's a veteran player who's a high draft pick coming out of Florida State. Played with Jameis Winston on the national championship team at Florida State. So there's a lot to like about Cameron Irving. You know, Not going to be an all-pro at this point in his career, but a veteran player who's played a lot of football and can be serviceable for you. But if Irving goes down and you need somebody in a pinch, a guy that knows the Falcons, knows their defense, knows their personnel. I get it, new defensive coordinator Ryan Nielsen this year and all that stuff, but there's a lot of their defensive personnel, knows Arthur Smith and what they're trying to accomplish. There can be, and even some of the talent, There's there can be an easier transition if you need him in a pinch. We'll see if he's activated. We'll see what happens with Landon Young. But it does make sense that you go get a guy like Colby Gossett, who's played in the NFL, and most importantly, he's played for Atlanta and against the Saints. He's familiar with both of these teams. If you need it in a pinch, in a week, you know this is a guy that could do it. So um, we'll see as they get closer to uh, to the game on Sunday with the Saints and the Falcons. And look, it's a uh, it's an opportunity for the New Orleans Saints and the Atlanta Falcons. Both teams need help uh, to get into the playoffs. But if you don't win this game, it's moot. Saints-Falcons have to win this game and get help to make it into the playoffs. So uh, you know, Derek Carr was asked if he was... Um, he was asked if he was going to be scoreboard watching during the game because the Bucks and the Panthers will be playing at the same time the Saints and the Falcons are. Here's what Derek Carr said if he uh, is going to be scoreboard watching the, uh, the Bucks during the game. I don't want to know any of that. I just want, again, our guys to be focused on the task at hand because if we're worried about those things, Atlanta's way too good of a team to not be thinking 100% on. You know, you can't, you can't do that. They, they would come in here and beat us by 40 if we start thinking about that kind of stuff. And so, you know, our, our mindset has to be completely and solely on uh, Atlanta. And, and winning our game, and then, you know, hopefully hear some cheers in the stands afterwards. I will be mostly interested to see if they're putting the score on the scoreboards in the dome because they do roll scores throughout the end of, through, you know, from the NFL throughout the day in the dome. So I'll be very interested to see, and m- maybe they might do that depending on how that uh, that that Carolina Tampa game is going. But in any event, uh, Saints and Falcons Sunday in the dome. Uh, We'll get the final injury report on Friday. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Please leave your comments. I love to interact. And be sure to hit the red subscribe button below.